So about 20 months ago, we decided to replace our Volvo diesel engines with Torquedo electric motors. Uh, and there's a, uh, there's a prior video which we'll link uh, to uh, on that and gives the details of the motors and, and all that stuff. But uh, what we wanted to do in this video is just give you an update of how we're doing and uh, how the system is performing uh, 20 months later. So we are currently, uh, obviously 20, after 20 months, we are fossil fuel free. We're excited. We are all electric, 100%, including our sailing uh, dinghy that has no motor now um, that we use for rowing and sailing. We have an induction burner. We make our own water uh, with the solar and we have a little electric oven that works really well. So it's an exciting time for us that we're really enjoying. Yeah, so the, one of the first questions that, that we receive uh, uh, after our last video was how much, how, many, how much battery power do you have or how much battery storage do you have and also how much solar does it take uh, to do what we're doing. Um, and the solar basically we have just over uh, two kilowatts of solar. Uh, and battery storage we have just over 20 kilowatts of battery storage. Um, so basically we're uh, powering the house and the motors uh, with that 20 kilowatts. Uh, we, we use the 48 volt um, batteries also to maintain our, our 12 volt system. Uh, so that's part of that equation also. Um, and, then, and another important thing for us to make clear too with our whole setup for our situation is that our goal is to sail. So we're 100% uh, into sailing and Kevin on Sailing Oceans has been a big inspiration, so we enjoy following him. But uh, that is an important aspect of our situation and how we designed it. Um, so when we're looking at inlets and cuts and things like that, we're always uh, considering whether the current's coming in or going out, how's the wind, and we really enjoy that. So if that means we need to sit a few days somewhere rather than go, that's fine with us. Um, but we realize that might not be everybody's situation, but that is something to consider as we further discuss uh, our great experience with our electric motors. Yeah, that's an important point, actually, because I recently uh, received a question uh, about having an auxiliary form of power. And uh, so the discussion was, do you have a generator or do you have a diesel motor with a a um, electric component to it or how, how what's your safety net and the way that we operate is that we sail first and then our safety net is the electric motor so we don't uh, ever use the electric motor as a primary source of uh, propulsion our primary source of propulsion is sailing and that's an important part as Terry just mentioned uh, in all of this So, so far the uh, motors have been working really well and we're really super happy with them. Uh, we did have a little bit of a hiccup uh, that I think we alluded to in an earlier video uh, where we had an E6 uh, error which was caused by an internal issue. Uh, but Tokido were uh, fantastic in replacing that motor quickly. Uh, had, we were back in the water I think in a week or so and anyway we were super happy with the service that Torquedo gave us in that uh, with that issue. Uh, one other hiccup that we've had to work through is we uh, based on our budget uh, decided to purchase aftermarket batteries which uh, Torquedo advertises is a possibility so we went the aftermarket battery route and we bought big battery um, they're called the Lynx, um, and they are 5.12 kilowatts each. The charging voltage uh, is higher than the charging voltage on the Torquedo batteries. Where that causes an issue is that when we're charging the uh, big batteries with the solar, we charge at 58 volts the Torquedo system uh, doesn't like that very much. So again, with the great service from Torquedo, they helped navigate me 
through rewiring it so that um, I can charge the big battery, big batteries at the voltage that they need, but then not negatively affect the torpedo system. Um, so we're six months into this now uh, with the with the rewire, which is a simple rewire. And if you're interested in that at all, uh, you can contact us, and I can walk you through that if you're in that situation. But uh, Anyway, we're six months in without any uh, issues at all, and again, super happy with the support that I got from Torquedo uh, throughout that. Looking forward, uh, I mentioned the, the batteries we have currently have a 100 amp uh, BMS in them, and uh, we have two batteries in parallel for each motor, which uh, gives us 200 amps. Uh, but those motors uh, can can consume up to 300 amps, uh, which means that if I'm not careful with the throttles, I can uh, shut down the BMS on the batteries. So uh, moving forward, uh, B, uh, Big Battery has a battery called the Hawk, I think, that has 150 uh, amp BMS. So if I put two of those together, we can uh, get up to that 300 amp uh, uh, threshold. So we may do that this winter when we get back. Uh, we uh, are currently out sailing, so that'll be something that we just have to monitor until we get back to the U.S. In conclusion, uh, we just wanted to mention a few things and with how happy we are with our new uh, electric situation on our boat, uh, which is a 2007 Fountain Pajot Mahi, uh, which we actually are the original owners. So it's been a fun uh, project for us. We've really enjoyed switching it over. Um, is our newfound freedom that we find from not having to go seek out gas, diesel, propane, um, that always, you know, is in the back of your mind when you're traveling and or sailing places and where you're going to find it and are they going to have it. Uh, so that's been a nice freedom. And also we find, which we had this question and I have uh, the details that we will put in the description, but we are sailing much better, which we're really excited about. We sail faster, the boat's lighter. Uh, so that's been a whole new experience that we are enjoying. Yeah, when we uh, first took on this uh project we definitely did it on a budget um, and so I think that uh, you know as, as different people do this these conversions I think they they do them differently based on their situation and their circumstances um, what we did so far is working out really well for us and we re are really enjoying it um, but by no means do we pretend like this is for any everybody else you know it, it works for us it's the way that we envisioned it, uh, and we're happy with it. Uh, but there are a lot of different ways uh, to do this. Um. So we appreciate you watching um, and welcome your questions. We've had a lot of great questions from our past videos with what uh, the project with us installing the Torquedo, the cabling that uh, we did. So we welcome any questions, happy to answer them. Um, and again, thank you for watching. Yep, thanks.